over 9.42 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So we, when I do this calculation, I get 95.569. Now let's just take this value. What I get on the calculator, 95.569. Obviously, this is rounded off. It's a very large decimal value. I'm not writing it. So you can see that the value we know for the Faraday constant is 96,500. And this value is fairly close. So which means we are on the right path. Whatever we have done till now is not wrong. Now we have F. We have the equation F is equal to L E and we have E. So we can say L is equal to F over E which means uh, it is equal to 95.569 what we got over electronic charge which is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 which is equal to let me do this on my calculator this is equal to 5.97 Two, three significant figures again 5.97 into 10 to the power of 23 so you can see that um, I've got a, a, it's not an accurate value but it's very close to 6.02 so that means I, whatever I was doing was correct so this is our answer uh, yes this is not the true value but again this was experimental and there are a lot of anomalous results in experiments, so we will never get a very accurate value. So this is quite high uh, in terms of accuracy. So we have done this, and they also mentioned three significant figures. We have given three significant figures. Now let's move forward. So this is the last question for quantitative electrolysis that we are going to practice. A fuel cell in an orbiting satellite, so we are going to do a few cells in a bit, but a fuel cell in an orbiting satellite is required to produce a current of 0 0.010 amps for 400 days. Calculate the mass of hydrogen that will be needed. So we have current, we have time, so Q is equal to IT, which will be equal to 0 0.01 into 400 into 24 let's convert days to hours into 60 hours to minutes into 60 minutes to seconds so we have converted overall days to seconds and when i do this on my calculator i get uh just a second i get 345,600 coulombs so this is the value of q so let's calculate the number of moles of electrons which is Q over F, which will be equal to 34, uh, just a second. Thirty-four thousand five, uh, 345, sorry, 345,600 over F, the Faraday constant, we know this as 96,500 Coulomb per mole. So, when I calculate this, I get 3.58 moles of electrons, two, three significant figures, 3.58 moles of electrons. Now, the half equation for this reaction is 2H plus. It's, it was given in the question before this, so I've not copied that part. So, that's why you don't know how I got this equation, but it is actually this equation, 2H plus plus 2E negative gives H2. So this is the equation that has been given to us. So we know that two moles of electrons will give one mole of hydrogen gas. So the number of moles of H2 will be 3.58 divided by 2 which is 1.79 and the mass of hydrogen will be N into the AR which is not AR but the molecular mass because hydrogen gas is always present as a molecule H2 so N into MR and the molecular mass is 1 plus 1 because 2 hydrogen atoms so 2 so 1.79 multiplied by 2 which is 3.58 grams 
3.58 grams of hydrogen gas. Now we are done with this question.